my beauties it's Mika welcome back to my channel so in my most recent haul I showed you guys that I had recently purchased the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Full Coverage Concealer and I asked if you guys wanted to see a review and you guys said that you needed to know my thoughts on this concealer so that is what I'm doing for you guys today so I picked this up at Sephora it retails for 28 bucks so if you would like to see my thoughts on this concealer then just keep on watching All right, you guys, so this is the new Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. I picked this up from Sephora. It retails for $28, and you get 5 mLs or 0.16 fluid ounces of product. So here is the box. It's the normal rose kind of gold um, Urban Decay packaging. And this is the product. So I let's talk, talk about the packaging. I love the packaging. It's very cute. It's this nice um, plastic um, packaging and it says just you know the Urban Decay Naked Skin and it is a twist off lid and it comes with a nice doe foot applicator which I love. The packaging is is exactly the same as the Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation. Just a small cute travel version. I think the packaging is adorable. So this concealer claims to cover perfections without looking cover up that it's easily blendable and buildable, that it provides an even coverage with a luminous demi matte finish, it's ultra lightweight, um, it has a high tech liquid formula that never settles into fine line and it says never settles into fine lines. It provides a no makeup makeup look while providing full coverage and that it's enriched with um, Matrixel 3000 which supposedly supports a youthful appearance. Um, and then also has Japanese green tea that revitalizes and helps reduce the lack, the look of fine lines and that it protects against dehydration and it's very moisturizing and it just, it has a lot of claims. No parabens, um, so on and so forth. So I don't like the price. $28 for only 5 ml of product. I think it's kind of a ripoff. The um, MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer is cheaper than this and it's like double the amount of product. The NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer has more product. I just, I'm not super impressed with the price and how much product do you get. So I would not say that it covers up imperfections. Um, I, as you guys know, I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne scarring, and I tried to use this to spot conceal, and I could still see all of my scarring peek through. So this is not full coverage as it claims. It is light to medium coverage, but I think this is more of a highlighting concealer. Um, because it only comes with in eight shades, and the majority of the shades are lighter, there's only two more shades that are darker than this and this is medium dark neutral but this is very very light so for all of our women of color if you wanted to try to use this to spot conceal it's not going to work because it's not going to match our skin tone it's it's very 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 light but if you wanted to use it as an under eye highlight it would absolutely work for that it did settle into my fine lines when I did not set it with a translucent powder. It also creased like no other when I didn't set it. I wore it yesterday without setting it because I wanted to see how it worked and it was a hot, creasy, settling, fine line mess. But I do have it on today and I set it with my NARS light reflecting loose powder and there's been no fine lines, no creasing. It kind of like, everything's kind of blurred out. I mean that setting translucent powder is bomb anyways. But you, I absolutely 100% recommend that you guys set this. It, it it blends very easily. It's not buildable, but it is blendable. Again, I tried to keep applying it to cover my acne scars. It did not work. Um, it started eventually to kind of like cake up. So I wouldn't say it's easily buildable, but it absolutely is blendable. Um, it's a nice matte finish. Um, I think, again, this is beautiful as an under eye concealer, but I would not recommend it for spot concealing or to hide any um, acne scars 
yarn, you're going to need something with a little bit more coverage for that, depending on how good your skin is. If you have, you know, if you don't have any acne scars and you just have like a couple of blemishes here or there, this will absolutely work for you. But if you do have some scarring or some hyperpigmentation or rosacea or some different type of skin issue, this isn't going to be your friend. So if you are looking for a very nice under eye highlight, pick this up because I love it for that purpose. Like I have it under my eyes today, I've been wearing it. It is a beautiful under eye highlight, but it is not a full coverage concealing concealer, if you know what I mean. Um, would I repurchase this again? No. Um, again, I'm not impressed with the price. I'm not impressed with the color range. I'm not impressed with the coverage. There are so many other concealers out there that I think do a better job than this. So I'm going to continue using it. It's not horrible. I do like it, but my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is a beautiful under eye highlight and it also covers my hyperpigmentation and my acne scars and everything. So I'll continue to use that or my Pro Longwear, but I'm just not super impressed like don't get me wrong it is a good concealer but I would not repurchase it I mean I think they could go back and kind of reformulate it a little bit they for sure need more shades because the shade range is horrid and I think you know it's n they could really you know beef up the coverage but it's very lightweight and it's a nice concealer so yeah you guys that is all I have to say um I wouldn't say spend the dough on this. I would say pass and get something else. All right, you guys, so that is it. Make sure that you guys follow me on my social media because I'm very active with you guys there. My handles are always down below in the description box. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already so that you know when I upload new videos. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.